Welcome to my YouTube channel, My English Dose. Yes, My English Dose. Today you will learn all about tenses, its types and usage. What is tense? A tense is a form taken by a verb to state or indicate when the work is done. There are mainly three types of tenses, present tense, past tense, future tense. Present tense is divided in four parts. Number first, simple present tense. Number second, present continuous tense. Number third, present perfect tense. Number four, present perfect continuous tense. In simple present tense, do and does are helping verbs. Be careful while using helping verb. Use do with I, we, you, they are plural noun, and use does with he, she, it, name or singular noun. Simple present tense sentence structure for positive sentence structure is subject plus first form of a verb plus object. For negative sentence structure is subject plus helping verb plus not plus first form of a verb plus object. For interrogative sentence structure is helping verb plus subject plus first form of a verb plus object. For interrogative plus negative sentence structure is helping verb plus subject plus not plus first form of a verb plus object. Do not forget to add question mark on interrogative sentences. In simple present tense or present indefinite tense. If subject is he, she, it, or, singular noun, add s or s with first form of a verb, only in simple or, positive sentence. Identification of simple present tense is, person works on present minutes, carefully, note, person doing the thing in sentence is subject, action means verb, things acted on means object. Look at more given examples of simple present tense. Positive sentence is, she speaks English. Negative sentence is, she does not speak English. Look at more given examples of simple present tense. Interrogative sentence is, does, she speak English? And, interrogative, negative, sentence is, does she not speak English? Look at other examples of simple present tense. They purchase a car. They do not purchase a car. Do they purchase a car? Do they not purchase a car? Rahul writes a letter. Rahul does not write a letter. Does Rahul write a letter? Does Rahul not write a letter? Present continuous tense helping verbs are is, are, am. Note that use am with I, use is with he, she, it, name, and use are with you, we, they. Understand the sentence structure. Make positive sentence using subject plus helping verb plus first form of a verb plus ing plus object. Make negative sentence using subject plus helping verb plus not plus first form of a verb plus ing plus object. Make interrogative sentence using helping verb plus subject plus first form of a verb plus ing plus object. Make interrogative negative sentence using helping verb plus subject plus not plus first form of a verb plus ing plus object in given sentence tina is subject is is helping verb cooking is verb or you can say first form plus ing and last one food is object and look at more examples. Positive sentence is I am driving a car. Negative sentence is I am not driving a car. Interrogative sentence is Am I driving a car? Interrogative plus negative sentence is Am I not driving a car? Other examples of present continuous tense David is writing a letter. David is not writing a letter. Is David writing a letter? Is David not writing a letter? Present perfect tense, helping verbs are has and have. Identification of this tense is work has just finished. Present perfect tense, sentence structure. The positive sentence structure is subject plus helping verb plus third form of a verb plus object. 
Negative sentence structure is subject plus helping verb plus not plus third form of a verb plus object. Interrogative sentence structure is helping verb plus subject plus third form of a verb plus object. Interrogative negative sentence structure is helping verb plus subject plus not plus third form of a verb plus object. In given examples, Rahul has written a letter. Is positive sentence. Rahul has not written a letter. Is negative sentence. Has Rahul written a letter? Is interrogative sentence. Has Rahul not written a letter? Is interrogative plus negative sentence. Present perfect and some other sentences. Look at, we have won the match, we have not won the match, have we won the match? Have we not won the match? Another example is, Tony has spent money, Tony has not spent money, has Tony spent money? Has Tony not spent money? Present perfect continuous tense, the identification as work is going on with point of time or period of time. Present perfect continuous tense, helping verbs are, has been, and, have been. Use have been with I, we, you, they are plural noun, use has been with he, she, it name, or a singular noun. Use for with period of time, the period of time is one hour, two days, three years etc. Next one is, use since with fixed time, some examples of fixed time is Monday, Wednesday, March, 2015-2023, etc. Look sentence structure of present prefect continuous tense. For positive sentence. Subject plus has or have plus been first form of a verb plus ing plus object plus since, for plus time. For negative sentence, subject plus has or have plus not plus been plus first form of a verb plus ing plus object plus since or for plus time. For interrogative sentence, has or have plus subject plus been first form of a verb plus ing plus object plus since or for plus time. And last one is. Interrogative negative sentence, as or have plus subject plus not plus been plus first form of a verb plus ing plus object plus since or for plus time. Look sentence structure of present prefect continuous tense. Here David Hill is subject, has plus been is helping verb or auxiliary verb, driving is a verb a car is object, for is used period of time or unfix fine. Five days. Look other sentences of present perfect continuous tense. They have been playing cricket since morning. This is a positive sentence. They have not been playing cricket since morning. This is a negative sentence. Have they been playing cricket since morning? This is a interrogative sentence. And last one is have they not been playing cricket since morning? This is a interrogative negative sentence. Simple past tense helping verb is did, use did, with all nouns, or, pronouns. Subject plus second form of a verb plus object. Is positive sentence, structure. Subject plus helping verb plus not plus first form of a verb plus object. Is negative sentence structure. Helping verb plus subject plus first form of a verb plus object. Is, interrogative sentence structure. Helping verb plus subject plus not plus first form of a verb plus object is interrogative negative sentence structure. We do not use helping verb in positive sentence of simple past tense. Here, as he is subject, it is second form of a verb and food is object. Look at other examples of simple past tense. We won the match. We did not win the match. Did we win the match? Did we not win the match? Next example is. We helped him. We did not help him. Did we help him? Did we not help him? Helping verbs are was and were. Use was, with I, he, she it, singular noun or pronoun, and use were with, you we they or plural noun or pronoun. Positive sentence structure is, 
subject plus helping verb plus first form of a verb plus ing plus object. Negative sentence structure is, subject plus helping verb plus not first form of a verb plus ing plus object. Interrogative sentence structure is, helping verb plus subject plus first form of a verb plus ing plus object. Interrogative negative, sentence structure is, helping verb plus subject plus not plus first form of a verb plus ing plus object. Past continuous tense sentences. In given sentence, I, is subject, was is helping verb, driving is verb with ing form and a car is object. Past continuous tense sentences. Look at interrogative, and, interrogative plus negative sentence. Look at past continuous tense four types of sentences. We were going to market. Is, positive sentence. We were not going to market. Is, negative sentence. Were we going to market? Is, interrogative sentence. Were we not going to market? Is, interrogative plus negative sentence. Past perfect tense identification of this tense is work had been completed in the past. Helping verb is had used had with all nouns and pronouns. Subject plus helping verb plus third form of a verb plus object. Is positive sentence form. Subject plus helping verb plus not plus third form of a verb plus object. Is negative sentence form. Helping verb plus subject plus third form of a verb plus object is interrogative sentence form. Helping verb plus subject plus not plus third form of a verb plus object, is interrogative plus negative sentence form. Look at given examples of past perfect tense. He had replied me, is positive sentence. He had not replied me, is negative sentence. Had he replied me, is interrogative sentence. Had he not replied me, is interrogative plus negative sentence. Past perfect continuous tense, helping verb is had been. Use had been with all nouns and pronouns. Sentence structure is. Subject plus had been plus first form of a verb plus object plus since or for plus time. Look at some other examples of past perfect continuous tense. She had been cooking food for two hours. She had not been cooking food for two hours. Had she been cooking food for two hours? Has she not been cooking food for two hours? Simple future tense helping verbs are will and shall. Use, will with, you, they, he, she, it, name. And while with I and we, but nowadays will is used with all nouns and pronouns. Simple future tense. Sentence structure. Subject plus helping verb plus first form of a verb plus object is for positive sentence. Subject plus helping verb plus not plus first form of a verb plus object. Is for negative sentence. Helping verb plus subject plus first form of a verb plus object is for interrogative. Helping verb plus subject plus not plus first form of a verb plus object is for interrogative plus negative sentence. Simple future tense sentences. Look at sentence structure. Subject plus will plus first form of a verb plus object. I plus will plus meet plus him is a positive sentence. I will not meet him. Is a negative sentence. Will I meet him? Is a interrogative sentence. Will I not meet him? Is a interrogative plus negative sentence. Future continuous tense. Helping verbs are will be and shall be. But nowadays you can use will be with all nouns and pronouns. Look given sentence structures. Subject plus will or shall plus be plus first form of a verb plus ing plus object. 
subject plus will or shall plus not plus be plus first form of a verb plus ing plus object. Will or shall plus subject plus be plus first form of a verb plus ing plus object. Will or shall plus subject plus not plus be plus first form of a verb plus ing plus object. Look at given examples. In the sentence she is subject, will be is helping verb, celebrating is a verb plus ing, her 22nd birthday, is object, and it is a positive. She will not be celebrating her 22nd birthday, is a negative sentence. Will she be celebrating her 22nd birthday? Is a interrogative sentence. Will she not be celebrating her 22nd birthday? Is a interrogative plus negative sentence. Look at some other examples of future continuous tense. Ritu will be cooking food. Ritu will not be cooking food. Will Ritu be cooking food? Will Ritu not be cooking food? Future perfect tense. Helping verbs are will have and shall have. Look at sentence structure. Subject plus will or shall plus have plus third form of a verb plus object. Subject plus will or shall plus not plus have plus third form of a verb plus object. Will or shall plus subject plus have plus third form of a verb plus object. Will or shall plus subject plus not plus have plus third form of a verb plus object. Note. But nowadays, you can use will have with all subject. Look some sentences of future perfect tense. In the given sentence I is subject, will have is helping verb, taken as third form of a verb, and, t is object. Look sentences, now. I will have taken t. I will not have taken t. Will I have taken t? Will I not have taken T? Look some other sentences of future perfect tense. She will have slept. She will not have slept. Will she have slept? Will she not have slept? Future prefect continuous tense. Helping verb bar will have been and shall have been. Sentence structure is, as under. Subject plus will or shall have been plus first form of a verb plus ing plus object plus since or for plus time. Subject will or shall plus not plus have been plus first form of a verb plus ing plus object plus since or for plus time. Will or shall plus subject plus have been plus first form of a verb plus ing plus object plus since or for plus time. Will or shall plus subject plus not plus have been plus first form of a verb plus ing plus object plus since or for plus time? Future prefect continuous tense, in given sentence. You is subject, will have been is helping verb, spending is a verb, money is object, for is used for period of time, two hours is period of time. Look and understand some future perfect continuous tense sentence. John will have been playing cricket since October. John will not have been playing cricket since October. Will John have been playing cricket since October? Will John not have been playing cricket since October? Look at all tense rules chart learn it and understand it. Look at all tense rules chart learn it and understand it. Look at all tense rules chart learn it and understand it. Look at all tense rules chart learn it and understand it. Look at all tense rules chart learn it and understand it. Look at all tense rules chart learn it and understand it. Thank you for watching this video please like and subscribe my channel.